Hello everyone, welcome to Marlin Chess Case. Today we'll show you the game played by Nicholas and Vincent. C4, C5, Knight F3, D6, Bishop to B5, check. Knight to D7, block the check. D4, C takes D4, and Queen takes D4. And now you have A6 to chase away the bishop. And this is the five first move. In, in this situation, white is a slightly better. Then you have bishop takes d7 and check. Bishop takes d7, knight to c3, e5 for the black to attack the queen, and queen to d3. Then you have rook to c8. And castle from the white, then queen to c7 and rook to d1 and black develop bishop to e7. So this is the first 10 move and in this position white is uh, still slightly better. Then to continue the game, white continue to move a4 to have a strong attack. A4, then black play H6 to prevent the bishop to go to G5, then white play knight to D2 with the idea of knight to D2, F1 and E3, then the knight can go to attack the queen at D5 and attack the queen. So knight to d2 was played. Then black continued to play bishop to g4, attack the rook. So the white simply play f3 to prevent the block and the bishop back to bishop e6. And now the white play knight to f1 and knight to f6 by the black then knight to e3 and the black continue to castling this position is a 15 move and the position for both is equal game then the game to continue bishop to d2 and rook f to d8 then bishop to e1 and the idea of go to the bishop to f2 and you can the bishop can go to g6 and here to attack the queen and if the queen move you can capture the rook so black pair queen to b6 and white continue to play a5 attacking the queen then queen to c6 and now you have bishop to f2 so white is slightly better in this position then black play g6 and white play rook to d2 so maybe you have the idea of double up the rook to have multiple attack at the pawn D6. The knight to H5 was played by the black, and now the white continued to attack by playing knight E to D5. Then king to F8 to protect the bishop. and bishop to b6 and you bring out another material to attack the black pieces then rook to d7 and now white is clearly better and here white play bishop to e3 to attack 
the pawn. Then the black continue to play bishop to g5 to go for the action because the black don't want to lose the pawn so at move 24 bishop capture bishop then the pawn capture g5 and here the f file is open so it can allow for the attack from the rook then knight to b6 is a good move as this is a fork so one of the rook will be captured by the white then black continue to play queen c5 and check the white can actually block the check by moving the rook to prevent the check so in this actual game the white play king to h1 and after the king move to h1 the black is now clearly winning the game i give you a couple of seconds to figure out what is the idea the black can play in this situation will the black run away the rook as is this is being fought with the knight i give a couple of seconds to figure this out the idea well congratulations for those who found the answer and for those who like to enjoy the show here are the moves in this position white can make a very brilliant sacrifice by moving knight to g3 and check the king as the king cannot move to g1 because the queen is attacking the square at g1 so after this position the black is clearly winning because after the knight go to g3 and check the king so there's no way for the king to move the only move is to capture with the pawn h takes g3 and now the simple move is to move the rook to h8 and checkmate so therefore the simple idea is to move king to the rank 7 and allow the rook to checkmate at f8 at h8 so after king to g7 then this the white capture the rook and now you don't need the queen to capture back the knight you just can move rook to d1 sacrifice another piece and here after white play g4 then rook to h8 and checkmate the king and the king cannot move to g1 as, as a queen still attacking the square so in this session the only way to prevent this is to move rook to f2 and you have a free loop for the black so if the queen to capture the rook then knight to capture back 
the C8 root and the same thing will happen like the root to D8 and here with the idea of checkmate is not able to prevent so after any move from the white as example knight capture d6 and you have a checkmate and with this thank you